why your first game should be simple, coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Roman, and today I want to talk about why your first game should be simple. Um, generally speaking, uh, your first game should be as simple as possible, um, simply due to the fact that you should keep the scope of your game small. Um, and one good thing that's actually happened, uh, there's, there's a, a trend uh, lately, especially in the past several years, of single mechanic mobile games, where it's just a, um, a very simple game uh, that only really does one thing, but it does that one thing really well. Um, and an example of this might be uh, Angry Birds, for example, um, where you just launch birds on a, on a catapult and they fly across the screen and slam into, into stuff. Um, and that's the only thing that those games do, and they do it really well. Super simple, single mechanic games are ideal for your first game. Um, the reason for that is because the, the scope of those games tends to be very limited, which is a good thing, especially if you're new to developing games and this is the first game that you're, um, you're going to be releasing. But even if you're just looking for more experience in releasing games and um, you know, maybe it's not your first game, but um, it's your second or third, you know, pumping out a couple games that are, are more simple um, is, is much quicker and easier to do than something that is, is a little bit more complex. So maybe your first game would wind up being something like um, maybe a, a, a very simple infinite runner of some sort where um, your player just sort of runs across the screen, you have to jump over things or duck under things and avoid, avoid basically being hit. Um, an example of this is Flappy Bird. I mean, that game is is super super simple. In fact, that's that's the first game. Uh, I uh, I should say a, a clone of that was the first game that I ever actually released uh, publicly. Uh, the first full fledged game uh, I released in 2014 uh, was a was a Flappy Bird clone called Stupid Duck. And and the idea was all you had to do was tap the screen. That was the only thing you had to do. And every time you tap the screen, the bird flaps up a little bit, or the duck in this case flaps up a little bit. Um, and you know, as in between taps, he falls a little bit. And so the idea is to keep tapping and have the bird go up and down on the screen like this. And then there would be obstacles, um, coming up from the top and the bottom of the screen. They might be here and then here and then here. And you have to sort of just flap your way through those things without hitting anything. Um, and the only thing that you had to do to interact with the game was tap the screen. That's it. Uh, that type of thing is the ideal candidate for a first game because uh, they're usually quick to implement, uh, quick to test, and quick to release. And it gets you more experience in that whole process. Um, trying to do something that's super complicated, you, you're probably, especially for your first game, you're probably going to wind up getting lost on details. Um, and especially for your first game, the goal is to finish it. Um, finishing it is 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 the topmost priority um, over over everything else. Um, and if you keep your first game super simple, the likelihood of you finishing and releasing that game is infinitely greater. So that's all I really wanted to talk about uh, as far as that is for your first game. Uh, you know, like I, similar to what I said in the last video, um, you know, keep it simple. Um, there's no reason to make it your masterpiece. There's no reason to make something that's super complicated. Just keep it simple and, um, and release it. Get it out. Get it done. Get it shipped. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow.